गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास टेंथ आई एम जेस सर आई टीच यू जोग्राफी दिस टाइम अगेन विल फॉलो एनसीआर टी बुक कंटेम्प्ररी इंडिया देर आर सेवन चैप्टर्स इन जोग्राफी एंड नाउ टू चैप्टर्स दैट इज चैप्टर टू एंड थ्री दे आर मीटेड They will not come for the board exam. So the chapters which will come for the board exam, chapter number one is resources and development. Chapter number four, agriculture. Chapter number fifth, minerals and energy resources. Chapter number six, manufacturing industries. And chapter number seven. Lifelines of National Economy. Chapter One: Resources and Development. We all live in the environment that provides a number of things to support life on the earth. In fact, in order to survive, we need some basic items. These items include water, land, air, food. shelter clothing etc these all are derived from the nature from the environment but some of these are not useful in their raw forms therefore to make them more useful for us and for the humans more valuable human beings put their technological efforts in this way the items derived directly from the environment are processed and they are made more useful as a resource so first of all we should know the meaning of resources what actually is resource everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs provided it is technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable can be termed as a resource therefore resource can be turned by the skill of man and various technologies into a very useful product that constitute the real value and utility of the world here the meaning of technology is what technology refers to the application of latest knowledge and skill in preparing or making things while utility the meaning of utility is usability and value means worth so the source they are valuable to us and they are also use uh, useful to us so whatever we satisfy the need of human the soil the air the water the plants the mountains the buildings the roads they all are important resources to us as they satisfy various human need human beings they interact with the nature and for that create different institutions and also develop different tools and technology to accelerate their economic development it means that without nature the natural things there cannot be any kind of development possible like for example to extract oil from the beds of seas or oceans human beings they create institutions like for example the oil and natural gas commission of india ongc or oil oil india limited which makes a different types of tools develop technology and then only they are able to extract oil from the beds of ocean thus we can say that human beings they interact with the nature for their development they totally depend upon the nature without without them there cannot be any type of development possible 